There we go, Thank okay. OBS wasn't- was taking a minute. Okay, I'm good. Oh. I gotta get uh, these parts uploaded. Tonight. Well, first, let me actually do something with... Kasumi, and give, uh, Frood... ...the ability to use Kasumi's Pug. <laughs> Alright. So this is now in Chisari Desensi's journal. And can be edited and controlled by Cesare Desensi. As his reach expands <laughs> across now even characters. That's right. Okay. All right. So, so last time, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We were on the the Sensi mansion a lot. I think. You were. We were trying to figure out what to do. Then we eventually decided to. You go with, um, very Culver, right? That's his name? Correct. Okay, yeah. Decided to, like, see about him getting him into contact with his, uh, Morosini contact dude or whatever. Uh-huh. Correct. Oh, also, before that, Rodrigo showed up, gave us a bunch of money and, and hats. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. They were magic hats. Okay. Of the skies. Yes, he also... He also gave you amulets of endure elements. Yes. Just because, you know, that's nice to have. Yeah. Um. And then we, we yeah, we executed the plan, and and uh, Colvar went to the to the tavern. He has to meet. He has to send this message out or whatever. And while we're waiting for that, we ate a bunch of jalapeno poppers. Actually, you're at that right now. Oh, uh, okay. So, Kalvar has just given his uh, signal and has told you to uh, that he'll be meeting with his contact in an hour at the Mummer's Cross. The Mummer's Cross is not an hour away, so you have some time. Yeah. And you are in the Sepanide Cat with a whole bunch of jalapeno poppers and the ability to get more. You also have a <laughs> bottle of... Or bottle or two of a pretty good elven wine mm. and uh yeah mm. so what you do next is up to you how does one spend this hour in disguise so what is kasumi disguised as a human Kasum merchant right yes ah, human a... male named donatello donatello yes. I begin the journey. She's disguised as a guy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Human male merchant. Named Donatello. Yes. I've decided that he is my character's older cousin. <laughs> I see. Let's Pow is making headcanons for everyone. I and see. what is your character? I am a human lady named Donna <laughs> and I'm just sort of a peasant but I got nice big kitties and I'm kind of the groupie. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of hanging on to my cousin because he knows a bunch of cool, handsome adventure people. Reasonable. Yeah. I'm the rogue and handsome <laughs> named Fibonacci. Okay. I hide my face under a hood because I'm cool like that. How far away is the Mummer's Cross? I, I scooch my chair away from Fibonacci. <laughs> <laughs> it's about you 20 minutes walk. You can't scooch away. He's he's uh he's he's on both sides of you. Somehow. <laughs> Damn. I'm everywhere. No we are all Fibonacci now. Fibonacci so fat when he sits around the room. He sits around the room. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's. We should uh burn some time then head over there so we have ten minutes to spare or something. I think. It's a good idea. Yes. For now. Oh, let's what are you eat, doing? Let's eat more jalapeno poppers. Ah. Yes. Yes, and drink some wine. Both yes. are pretty addictive, actually. Um, overall, you know, 
being able to relax like this as adventurers and as people who people are trying to kill constantly um, isn't always the case. Uh, so yeah, let's roll some dice. Okay. Did you just roll a die randomly? What? what? Oh, yeah. okay. I was roll, like, did you... you just roll a 1d1. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, you rolled Got a, a natural one, Prof, so you <laughs> fail. I'm sorry. Well, it's also the max that dice can roll, mm. so. It's clearly red. It means it fails. Yeah, so Red is my favorite color. Not anymore. Red is a good color. color you know colors? I like them. <laughs> But, um, but what if instead of rolling dice, we drew cards? <laughs> Whoa! I mean, that's how they play Dungeons and Dragons in prison. Yeah. Um, they play Dungeons and Dragons in prison? Yeah, that's how they do it, with cards. That's actually... That's I, rad. Don't, don't, you, don't, you remember that, don't you remember that time Sal's went to prison? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, um, all the vaping uh, yeah. charges. Yeah. Yep. We sold too much. And we had to, we had to, we had to play with cars to to do our online game. And and South is on a tin can with a with a string. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all of this so well. I know, right? Yes. Um. Like preserved in amber in my brain. And then South like broke out like the Shawshank Redemption. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now um, he's in. I don't know. <laughs> I lost the plot. How, yeah, how long are you going to push this to him? Well, none of us know where he is because he's in hiding. <laughs> um, each of you roll constitution. Sweet. Oh. Let's get drunk. Here we go. Again. Donna's getting wasted. All right, well, well, we'll see. Bad roll. Or is she getting poisoned? What's happening? All right, let's see how my new improved oh, con shit. constitution. I'm gonna roll a five. Super. <laughs> Super. Oh, a nine. Pathetic. Is Castella a lady? Yes. Cool. So, actually, on that roll, rolling low was good. What? Oh, that's why I rolled a five. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is how much you go in. Mm. Apparently, Saru is cognizant of the fact that they have a job to do. You have a job to do, rather, while Akio is well. Not. <laughs> Wait, it's how much you go in, like how much you drink? Mm. Yes, and eat of this. So wouldn't it be a wisdom roll? Hmm. <laughs> oh. No. I don't want that because it's my wisdom's worse. Hmm. <laughs> isn't, isn't that good though? Or is it? Oh well. Well. No. <laughs> Actually, Listen, no. Yeah. I'm fine with. My Actually. <laughs> Look what you've done now. <laughs> you can either leave it this way or just change the modifiers to your wisdom modifiers. But then it. Hmm. 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 Or we could just re-roll it. Or we could just keep these results. Well, no, or we could re-roll it. Actually. Damn it. Um, re yeah, re-roll wisdom. Okay. God damn it. Hell ah. yeah. <laughs> I wow, am there. I... <laughs> Bata decides to just destroy <laughs> herself. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Alright. That will determine your uh, the DC for this upcoming Fortitude save. Um, so if you could make Fortitude saves at this point. All right. Okay, here we go. I can't. While I figure out what the actual DCs are based on, you just rolled. Pow, guess what? You passed. Sweet. What? Hey. Come on. 15. I can't believe this is how I die. <laughs> eh. 
If you die while wearing a hat of disguise, but no one interferes with you, like you just die of natural causes, does it break your disguise? No, right? Good question. I, guess it's I have no idea. Out. Oh my god, what if you rot, and then you take the items off, and then it's just a fucking skeleton? Because there's just... <laughs> Are you? Is, that's how. That's is how Akio bones gotten into the weed or something. That's how bones came came to be. No, no. What I'm saying is, is like the magic keeps appearances up, so you look like a sleeping corpse. Yeah, you, know, you have another person with you, don't you? Or actually, you have another two people with you, but one of them doesn't eat. Yeah. Who are the other two people? Shinichi Sh- oh, and we have... and Pascal. Is that it? Yep. Um, it's not. Yes. Okay, guess it is. <laughs> not that I know of. Is there somebody else, Prof? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Kasumi, you passed. Paulina, you passed. Akio, oh. you failed, actually. Didn't we decide uh, Maria wasn't coming with us or whatever? No, don't think so. I think we did. I don't. Um. No, you did say that Maria was uh, coming with, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she didn't go to get Pascal, but... Right. That's not this. Well, she failed. (laughs) Damn. I'm assuming I passed. I didn't hear you say. Suru, 402, you (laughs) passed. Sada Fortitude, you uh, failed. Yeah. And Pascal's Fortitude, his save is pretty high because he rolled pretty low. I couldn't have been um, a reflex save. I'm good at that. Wouldn't Pascal Dodge the beer? No. no we always... Pascal is fine. <laughs> so, Maria, Sada. Well, oh, okay. So, Paulina and Kasumi, quite aware that, you know, you're like, mm. even though Paulina is the one who actually ordered the things, she she knows that, you know, that you're both aware that you're going to be doing something potentially dangerous, you probably don't want to relax too much, and you keep it under control, uh, and moderate yourselves. The rest of you, uh, don't. Oops. In fact, Sada is the one who eats the most and drinks the most uh, here. Sada. Um, I can't believe it. Consuming very many, even more than Pascal, who is who ate the and drank the second most. But while Pascal is evidently fine, consuming that much, uh, well, Sada's quite a bit smaller than he is, and she is not. Akio, maybe it's just an off day for you. And Maria has already proven that she's not exactly the best at holding uh, wine. So uh, the, you three have now the sickened condition. Oh, Damn. Jeez. First, pa- first, first you take Check all that the money, on. and then you Shame. take away my alcoholism. Shameful. Shameful. <laughs> I feel what, embarrassed. All right, sickened. I need to look. I don't remember what second this one. There's a right. there you can just check on the checkbox on on your sheet there. Their condition. Oh. Yep. Oh, it's on this. Okay, I was looking up on the wiki. Cool. Oh, I don't. Oh, that 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 sucks. Okay, give me one second. Because I forgot Maria was there, I'm trying to make a pog with her for her really fast. Very well. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, perfect. I'm gonna click on the uh, the dead condition so everyone knows that I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Rest in peace. Even the description just says you're dead. <laughs> Rest in fucking peace. Okay. Oh, this is a good pack, too. Jeez, you're Actually, you're so just in the back, what are you? <laughs> I am. Well, I'm I'm not really because I'm stealing somebody's art, but Wow. Just, okay, I'm not the biggest fan of I'm gonna call the cops. Normally while well, I put up that picture of Macchio. Sorry, Aristus up that I just don't link to the artist though. Right. Okay, good. Um, so, in the end, uh, the three of you are drunk. And a, uh, a little sick to your stomachs. The jalapeno peppers are fried. They're not sitting super well. Um, but on the bright side, you have collectively passed the time. And as the rest of the party sort of looks at the three of you wobbly get up, the rest of you realize that you may have a small issue. What is it? What is it? That half of your team is inebriated. Yeah. That's what the issue is. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> do this all the time. Yep. Sada does? Yep. yep. Probably, when we're not looking. Yep. Yeah. She sneaks little little sips. <laughs> but anyway, it is now time for you to proceed to the Mummer's Cross. Getting in character of my disguise. Oh my mm. Yes. That is true. At the bright side, at least nobody will uh, in the wide world will know that it was Sada Ryuto. Everyone only sees. So she pulls uh, a fire sword out and says, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am the dragon yeah. of Sarugu. But no one would ever do that. No, of course not. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, so instead, it's merely Roberta, the Western Irator mercenary. With a katana. No. With a katana for some reason. Do you proceed to the Mummer's Cross? Yes. It's about a 20-minute walk. You proceed there in, this, in your disguises without issue. Um, only a little stumbly as you do so. Uh, you get a few looks occasionally. Um, you hear where at least one person go, oh, a little early, isn't it? Wow. They were too Somebody early. execute that man. <laughs> and eventually you find your way to the crossroads that are currently full of various uh, perf uh, street performers, as well as people, most of which are just trying to ignore them, but occasionally you do see someone being entertained. A lot of people seem to be paying attention to a particular mime. Ugh. Mime. Um, wait, is this that fucking mime that was the enemy of Logan? Yes. Yeah. Fals. It very well could be. <laughs> Look, I gotta use. I, I've been playing on this character for ages. I've got a deep backstory. I've been sitting on this for so long. I don't care I guess, if Logan's not here anymore. He's, he's the Shogun. <laughs> I bet it's that fucking mime. It's anyway. totally that mime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, where's uh, uh where's Culver? Uh, see if I can spy him with my bad rolls tonight. Well, that one wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, and Culver isn't hiding, and he is pretty easy to spot. He towers above the crowd, and his well, hair's on fire. Yeah, his hair is fire. Yes. <laughs> um, so he's a bit of a beacon. Okay. And you do see him, and he is currently walking across the square to a corner. Ah. Um, and against that corner, 
the uh, stone building that makes it up. He leans against the corner and waits. All right. What are you guys doing? Are you just all walking to the middle of the square and standing around, or...? Let's, let's split up and keep an eye out. Mo mosey. Uh, <laughs> stealthily. Gonna... How do you Whoever's, split up? Whoever's not stealthiest, go farther away. <laughs> Um, what is what is in the square? Okay. So you're Where just there is... in case something goes horribly wrong. Which I'm here never for happen. whatever reason I want to be here. Shall right. we draw straws to break up the group? Okay, Saddle will take the closest part, like keep an eye on the other side. Or I think because she probably has the highest stealth here. Or does she? <laughs> Who's Saddle? I don't. Oh yeah, who is Saddle? I don't know. Who the fuck is Saddle? Roberta. <laughs> Washington Eritrea. <laughs> That's who. All right, Roberto. Because <laughs> that's I. Are you Roberto? It's or Roberta. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Because I had a I had notes here, and I thought you were a wrestler, but oh well. Nope. Dallas, I just remembered a really dumb question. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, what There's happens? No such thing as dumb questions. No, this is this, this is, is a dumb question. I guarantee it. What happens when a <laughs> When an Ifridi go falls underwater to their hair, hmm. it continues. Okay, hmm. I was wondering. Like, can they their hair can, can their hair like actually go? And if it does, it like if they, they just like purposely. Fall? Well, why are the cards out again? If they purposely, um, like dim their light, because yeah. Ifrit cast Ifridi cast light as a torch. Okay. Um, and if they purposely dim that, their hair actually sort of goes out. Oh, okay. Uh, is it just, like, bald under there? No, it's hair. Oh, okay. It's just hair that, like, can be on fire. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, and if you were to just put your hand into a Efreet's flaming head, it would feel like hair. Oh, okay. That's how they are able to, like, style it. Makes sense. Um... But appearance-wise, it is when that's active, it looks like flame. Um, cool. Interest. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Sada's gonna sneak a sneak around, get a close position to keep an eye on things. All right, see if, Sada. Can, see if she can spy the guy as he's coming to meet Colvar. Okay. A thirty. Sada, you are the knight. Nice. You're a, a bit of a uh, you're a, a drunken knight. <laughs> Hell yeah. But still, um, you are the knight. Unfortunately, it's mid morning. Um, so no, you do you you stealth into the crowd immediately. You're you blend in like you're meant to be there, and carefully put poke your way around people so as not to be touched, so that they realize that you have skin and not fur, <laughs> but Soon, you get into a good vantage position where you can see both sides of the corner. You're near that mime, by the way. Uh -oh. He is miming uh -oh. near you. But, that mime you is know. definitely gonna do some fucked up shit. Maybe he's the contact. Oh my god. Oh, fuck! Oh my <laughs> god! That mime is not to be trusted. <laughs> You lose something when you're not behind a DM screen and your players can't, like, see you hastily scribbling notes. <laughs> um, but anyway. So, yeah. Uh, what the rest of you do? What are the rest of you doing? Because right now you're just sort of, like, at the one end of the, of the square. You've just walked, where, sort of walked up onto it. Where has Sada moved to? Well, that's a good question, because she's sort of blended in real good. I and, told you I was uh, going to keep an eye on both sides of the corner before I disappeared. Uh, so. Yes, but as for where she's actually gone to do that, you have no idea. You could try rolling a perception roll, but... Sure, I'm pretty good at that. You are, but Sada rolled pretty well for stealth, and she has a bit yeah. of an advantage due to the crowd. Uh, yeah, so uh, Sada is gone. You have yeah, no idea. Rolled, rolled a two. <laughs> so. uh, the classic. Yeah. 
Um, but still, you do, you guys, unless you want to just be like, hi, we're an adventuring party, and just like put your hands on your hips and watch the people go by, um, which might be a little suspicious. That's kind of weird. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm in a Bravo outfit, so it's yeah. I could pretty much just stand around. Yeah, that's true. How many ranks can I put in perception right now? I have those 12 <laughs> ranks from getting getting more smart. You can put as many Smarter. as any ranks in there as a... Uh... You have levels. Yeah. The maximum ranks you can have in any one skill is your level. So, so yeah, you can even put those, put the new ones in there if you want. Doesn't matter where you put them. I think Donna is going to see the corner that he's waiting at and then maybe make sort of a loop around so she's at the other end of wherever that alleyway would lead to. Like, she's going to just sort of walk around the block hmm. and position the herself corner, over there. The corner that he's at is at a major thoroughfare. Hmm. Um, the building that he's leaning against is a store. And actually, it's, it's a fairly large building with several stores in it. Um, and above it are a couple of floors, so it's probably apartments or storage or offices. Huh. The corner is just a simple stone corner. There's at a 90 degree angle, it's one side and the other. Yeah, but... Um, but you can but... walk around and get onto that street from behind. Yes, yeah. there are various cross streets and alleyways that you can follow. Um, and since you're from here, you know the area. Um, in fact, you're able to just go, ah, I know how to get there. And you go off in the crowd. Um, do you want to also do the stealth thing, or? Um, I don't know. I think her disguise is nondescript enough that if she's just walking around, she's well, out doing the, errands or whatever. With the exception of one feature, but yes. What was um, the feature? Oh, well, yeah, you know. But... <laughs> She's, you know, she's doing early morning errands. She's going to go buy some bread or whatever, so... Makes sense. Yeah, I think she makes sort of an act of like, oh, I've got some errands to run. I'll see you guys later, and then... All right. Well, then you could... A walk. Try... You could roll... I would let you roll bluff instead of... Oh! Uh, <laughs> stealth, then. Would you? Yes. Okay. That's just what I wanted. Oh. oh, wow. Good roll. I rolled a whole 18. Yeah, you look very convincing in yes. your, you're just, you're just going out for bread. People start hawking their wares to you. Um, I take some of them into consideration. Oh, yeah. Make an idea. act of it, yeah. You forgot your basket, clearly. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> um, so, Suru, you're just sort of standing in the road? Whatever looks normal for me to be doing at the Mummers Square. Maria goes over to you and asks, so you want to act like a Bravo here? I guess so. It would be wise to do that. Well, while we wait, the best thing a Bravo can do is be... And she sort of like throws her shoulders back, begins walking forward, visible. Should I just go fuck someone up? Is that? that... No, 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 no. <laughs> Not unless they ask for it. In which case, yes. But okay. no, you strut. Okay, I will strut around. That's the. Uh... Hmm. Okay, give roll me your strut. strut roll. Yeah, roll roll performance. You don't have this uh, the actual skill, but no nope. charisma basically. Oh, well, it's not going to be good at all. What about, like, an Intimidate? Hey. Do you have any stats hey, you'll in be, there? Hey, you'll be really noticeable, nope. then. So just roll Charisma? Um, if you don't have ranks in Intimidate, which I would I think I'd let you roll for this. I might technically have it. In which case, yeah, you can roll Intimidate. All right, yeah, you do a, a fairly uh, good... You know, you've seen a whole bunch of Bravos do this the other day, so aping them is not exactly difficult. 
Um, and actually, as you do it, Maria goes, oh, yeah, that's good. Try moving your shoulders a bit more like this. And soon you're doing it like a pro as you just sort of uh, walk side by side together. And people just like give you a very wide berth, just like, oh. Um, so that's most of them. Um, this leaves Akio with Kasumi and Pascal and Shunichi. I'm not actually sure how to approach the situation. I was. Well, we're just trying to lay low so yeah. that we can see what our contact is doing up to. Akio yeah, should I, just I, I... should just be ready to. Stand far away, but then ready to char come charging in if things we, go wrong, okay, like the mime, I, like the mime pulls out a gun or something. You want to get ready to kill the mime. No, no, I, no offense, I, but I kind of assumed we weren't. We have our weapons on us. I think so. Are you, well, they can be. Your weapons can be disguised. Oh okay. right, I, 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 I asked. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I made sure to ask this the last time. I have a cane. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay. you're a mercenary with a cane for so, some reason. Yeah, if you see the mime, like. Do like a finger gun? You you want to get ready? Yeah, he's okay. gonna shoot you. He's a gunslinger. Well, yeah. <laughs> what's like what's like a decent place to sit? I guess and look. And how do you say the word? Uh, what's a decent place to sit? What's a what a crazy question? Is there any benches know, uh, around? Uh, and, <laughs> like 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 inconspicuous, I guess. Pascal, is there, uh, is there, is there a bench? You me. Um, so from what it looks like, we're sort of your bodyguards, Kasumi, so, or, or rather Roberto, or whatever oh. your name is, Donatello. Oh. Donatello. Uh, That's right. Right. Um, so we should follow you. Okay. I don't know what Shunichi is. I am not. <laughs> I am not Shunichi. I am Shunichi. <laughs> he like comes. He he pinches his fingers together. <laughs> oh, very nice. That so... contributed something to this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good idea. Um... Uh, then I guess. I guess I should sell something. Do Pascal I I can looks sell? I start raises an eyebrow on you and then gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, let's see. What items do I have of value that I can sell permanently? <laughs> um, we could instead try to buy things. Nobody wants a bedroll. I have soup. Oh, that says soap. Oh, I love soap. A classic mistake. The miner's lantern. Doesn't say what that does. Oh. Kasumi has a bunch of toys? Yes. Are they Kasumi valued? has a bunch of random toys that she bought for amusing yourselves, the whole party, while on long ship journeys. Oh, that's very sweet of her. Yes, well, she, uh, Jake has brought that up on a couple of occasions. Oh, um, did we just ignore him? Whoa. Yeah. Um, I think so. Well, it's time to... <laughs> but if you, tie, if you add him with that now, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'm it's time to, to turn these uh, investments into currency. Reinvestment. Reinvestments. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a stall over to the side that, uh, well, there's actually any number of stalls here that uh, sell just like random sundries that might be interested in buying a whole bunch of games. Very Game well. Accessories. Games from the Far East. And, well, wait, we're not pretending to be from the Far East. Oh, oh well, I guess, like, yeah. So you could say you're a trader who got some games, some mm -hmm. exclusive games. And you pull out some Pokemon cards, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> look at these! These look Vivenese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
The Hanafuda set, you fool! <laughs> yeah, hey, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure. Kasumi has a Hanafuda set. Oh, excuse me. I remember that. And the tennis ball for all the <laughs> tennis we play? <laughs> that one's from the I Twin Kingdoms, right? I didn't realize that you bought a tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tennis is a very popular sport in the Twin Kingdoms. Yes, of course. Alright, so... Um, there are a number of stalls, but one of them has a pretty, a pretty good view of the corner. Right, where so is currently trying leading. to sell garbage to that person. Right, the uh, the proprietor is a halfling woman, and she looks up at you and your two scary bodyguards and your abscissant Iteron gleaming in the sun next to you. He goes, oh, uh, can I help you? Perhaps I can help you. Huh? Take a look at this. And I, um... You throw the cards into her face. <laughs> throw <laughs> all of the cards. Look at this. It's a ball, but on the inside, it's hollow and covered in fur. What the fuck? How strange. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Continue. And examine what happens when I release it and allow it to strike the ground. Why, it bounces back up into my paw. It's a bouncing ball. <laughs> With fur on it. But did you see how much it bounced? It seemed to have some pretty good bounce, yes. Pretty good bounce. Much better than our native balls. Yes, much much better than your Italian ball game, Google. Bocce. <laughs> Boc much better than your bocce balls. Imagine the games you could win in bocce with this incredible ball. I don't know if I bouncing think be... so much would be good in bocce. I think that'd be against the rules, to, too. You need to open your mind to the possibilities. But it would lose so much control. Uh, roll a bluff check, please, Kasumi. Well, it's <laughs> not a bluff. It's a real bouncing ball. Pretending to be a merchant. Oh. Do I get a bonus to this because of my stuff? Wow, a two in bluff? What the hell is this? This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Chizari again. <laughs> Chizari pretending to be Kasumi, pretending to be a merchant. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, the um, merchant seems to, like, believe you, I mean, you have the advantage of, you know, being well disguised as a merchant and also, you know, having the, uh, the accompaniment of having actual bodyguards, having an obsessant Iteron for, who knows, presumably appraisal and like, <laughs> calculating out sums. Yes, yes. So, yeah, she's actually kind of taken by Well, still, how many of these bouncing balls do you have? <laughs> <laughs> many sorry. of them, but only one in per presently. Because they're too valuable to carry too many of them on my person. But should you wish to place an order, I can deliver many. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. I will take... Uh, well, wait, how, off, how much are you selling the balls for? Ah, uh, fuck. What's a reasonable price? A silver? $49.99! I mean, tennis balls what? aren't cheap. <laughs> Let's, let's look up the tennis ball cost. Tennis ball Pathfinder. Good, There's good. no cost in Pathfinder for a tennis <laughs> ball. Know, I don't even up, know why Kasumi has that in her inventory. I'm looking up, I'm looking up the regular the, <laughs> the cost for like tennis balls in Amazon right now. You get like a three pack for like five bucks. Now you're going to convert that to silver currency? Yeah. Hmm. Oh my fucking god. That's, um, how much would that be in silver currency? Not very much. <laughs> Why? Wondrous items. 
I'm looking at what a simple wondrous item is worth. Ah, <laughs> uh, 800 gold. <laughs> no, 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 no that's you... too much. Uh... <laughs> I would part ways with this incredible ball. Te ten silver each. What? Absurd. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, how much silver do you get for 12 bucks? That's a great question. All right, silver prices today. Uh, <laughs> silver price per gram. Okay, so silver is 59 cents per gram. So total divided by 0.59 is 20 grams, which is, and a silver coin weighs about 11.5 grams. Jesus. I see. So, fine. A single silver. <laughs> well, you could potentially get it for a silver and 74 copper. Would be the would be the approximate cost of a tennis ball in my Pathfinder universe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this man is I going to <laughs> maybe this man is going to invent the game of tennis and become famous. <laughs> I'm really, I'm a fool for parting with it, now that I think about it. But we have to have a good disguise here, so I have no choice. If tennis isn't invented yet, then that can't be a tennis ball. Exactly. It's a paradox. Oh, wait, no, that was for a jumbo tennis ball. Oh, no. Well, I imagine a jumbo tennis ball is actually cheaper than a normal tennis ball, because... That sounds like a game. Okay, so like... Wilson extra duty tennis ball, which yeah. is, but that's for a th it, that's the thing. Tennis <laughs> balls come in tubes of three. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a good use of our time. It is, it does, doesn't it? Um. Okay. In the end, she ends up buying the tennis ball for a silver. Nice. Excellent. Well, that's how I pass my time as Kasumi. And right. Well, I while this is going time. on, this is very appropriate. Like you've captured Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, while this is going on, uh, those of you watching, Paulina from one of the back alleys, uh, Sada from behind the mime, and the, actually pretty much everybody has a, a, an okay view of where Colvard was as you went about your business surreptitiously you see a figure in a cloak go over to the other corner of Colvar and lean against it as well lowering um his cloak you see that it is a elven man gray-haired he begins uh speaking or you can see his mouth move you see Kovar's uh, mouth move, and you cannot hear the words, but clearly the elf is listening to Kovar's input. This must be his contact. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What does he look like? Like he an elf. Is an elven man about uh, shorter than Kolvar, maybe about six foot four. Um, gray, almost white hair. Um, and his features somewhat lined with age. He looks like a elf who has been around the block a few times. Um, oh. He is. Very uh, stern, mm -hmm. um, sort of 
as he's listening to Kovar, it's it's like he does not uh, feel that this is like where he should be uh-huh. down in the streets. But uh, it's sort of imperious looking. I see. And that's the gentleman that Kolvar is currently speaking to. I How guess, far away is he from me? Any, any chance we can hear? Any of us can hear any of it? the conversation? None of you are close enough. All right. You all took up positions like across the street or whatever with a few, but nowhere. Well, except for maybe Paulina. Paulina is a side street across. But, uh, so, Paulina, if you want to roll perception, Ooh. it'd be very difficult, though. They're okay. speaking very low. And, you know, there's a whole street in the way. Hey, Pal's got the good perception. That is true. But is it How good you can. You can't hear them. Damn. You can see the elf's lips move, and you can sort of. Maybe read it. Um, try rolling linguistics. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> you cannot read lips. <laughs> nope. So unfortunately, you do not know what Colvar is saying to him or what he's saying back. But after all, it's all the conversation that they have only lasts a few minutes, and soon the elf raises his hood again and begins walking down the street. I track him. I'm going to stealthily, just stealthily follow in that general direction. Mm-hmm. Maria sees you moving with purpose and begins also strutting that direction as well. Unfortunately, due to the nature of what you're doing, it's easy to get through the crowd as people don't want to accidentally bump into you and risk getting massacred by the gigantic giant ass sword. Um, you're a pretty unusual Bravo. It should be mentioned. Yeah, I thought a lot about that, but I don't know what to do about it. That's, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, most. So, but that's the thing. Like it's actually working to your advantage right now because you're just freaking people out. Ah. Ah. Oh no, it's a Bravo. And oh my God, that sword is huge. Also, it's a gill man. Uh, Probably kill me just for fun. Absolutely, kill you just for fun. Oh, that guy's a racist. Is that is that the expect? Yeah. Is that what people think of gill men still? They just kill for fun. That's what they do. I would have thought that I ruined. Most that people movie. don't. Okay. But I that mean, guy did, though. that guy did. I worked very hard to ruin the violent reputation of the gill men. Gilmen are very uh, are still sorry marginalized, but they've also been around for like thousands of years at this point. So yeah. people are kind of used to them. Yeah. Um, it is the unfortunate fact that a lot of them still do have issue uh, mobility issues in society, oh. to be sure. But outright discrimination and racism. That's not really a thing. Wonderful. Wait, what are they? Wonderful. <laughs> yes. Dog. Okay, I'm just waiting for a sign that either someone else is making a break at this or that I should do so. Asad is trying to follow behind and stealthily. Back him. Do what he's doing. All right, um, Suru, do you want to try and perceive uh, Sada? See if you can pick her out as she's following along? I suppose. Oh, hey, you did it. You actually see me, yeah. Yeah, uh, Suru, it's it, Sada's... You just pick her out slightly, but you do see that Sada is following this guy along too. Um, Pelina, what are you doing? Um, uh, tracking him. Okay. From, from, like, my angle. Okay. If that makes sense. I don't know what yes. direction he's walking, but... Can't just track him into our custody, that was my thing. Like... Oh, but we'll follow him until we get a good moment to... Yeah, like a dark alleyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, grabbing him in the middle of the street could raise its own issues. Um, so yeah, uh, Paulina, you're, 
you're actually you were the closest to him and you're able to actually just sort of start following along so on the opposite end of the street and you don't really call attention to yourself you're just you know a peasant going doing her daily errands um Last but not least, Kasumi, Shinichi, uh, Pascal, and Akio uh, one presumes that while you were doing your shenanigans, you did one of you were keeping an eye on Kolvar, and you yeah. could see him. So, um, And yeah, you do see Kolvar's yeah. contacts start to walk down uh, one of the main thoroughfares. Okay, like just and, like is he walking with purpose, like he's leaving? Yes. Okay. And uh, you do see also that Suru and Maria are beginning to take off after them. You don't see Paulina or Sada. Um. Not without a perception check, anyway. Well, sure. come up with some means to get to distract this guy or get him onto some sort of side road. Well how well how would we do such a thing, boys? Well currently you're all split up, so mm, I'm talking to Shun Ichi. I'm back. Mm. Uh... My immediate thought is that everyone is that Suru and Maria are following them. They are following him. So it is likely that Sada and Paulina would be following him as well. Yes, but if he simply takes sticks to this major thoroughfare all the way back to the north, wherever he's going, then um, then they just it will be an issue all the way back. Um, but we should begin to at least follow him a little. What if instead? I shouted fire, and then, wait, I have ice powers, damn it. Shunichi and... leans his head to the side. Are you feeling ice? ice? <laughs> what if I somehow ignited an ice fire to cause panic in the square, giving them an opportunity? What the fuck? Do we want to cause him? panic? Uh, panic would give them cover so that they could snatch him. What about Colvar? I figured you guys would follow him. Oh, but Colvar's our guy, right? Yeah. yeah. You trust him? No. <laughs> um. I think we should begin to follow. Alright, well, we shall follow. We can still create a distraction if necessary later, but if he starts heading into Hightown, it'll be quite some time before he reaches there, and we'll have ample opportunity to mm -hmm. arrange something. Uh, but if yeah. he simply disappears into the city, then we'll be lost. Very well. All right. Oh, I I always forget music. I'm the worst with this. There it is. Pizza. P -Z -Z -A. I want pizza. Mm, at least it gets some back some background noise anyway. Awesome. Um. There it is. Right. The sounds of a van. Seagulls. Yep. Garbage being tossed onto the, onto the so, ground. So, a lot of you do begin following this man. That's what I think of when I think of Italy. Garbage being tossed on the ground. Uh, that's not too far off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you begin traveling after this man. And he just sort of, he, he is moving with purpose. Um, in a certain... Race. Even though it's uh, crowded, he moves through the gra uh, crowd quite um, easily, sliding between people just around. Uh, he doesn't seem very slowed. Um, 
and it can be a little difficult to keep up with him. But eventually, you see him turn. He walks down a side street, really little more than an alley. Yes. So, Paulina, you reach the mouth of this alley first. Mm -hmm. You see him walking down it. Uh, at the end of the alley, you can see uh, it appears to be mostly like um, warehouses at this point. And at the end of the alley, you can see a door into one place. And he walks up to it, opens it, uh, and enters. Okay. Closes. Well, shit. The rest of you do see where Paulina is and are able to get up to the mouth of this alley. Uh, Sada, Suru, and Maria arrive. Are you going to wait for the rest of them? Hmm. Go for it. I'm going to. Do I know who's in their building? Yeah. Just destroy him. Is there any other any windows or means of entry? There are windows, but they're high up. Mm. Uh, that you can see from the mouth of the alley. You don't you don't see the entirety of the building from here. If I know he's in that building, I'm just gonna run in. I was gonna say, can I listen at the door before we do anything crazy? Nope. Okay. And here we go. I think. Can I turn into a puddle of water and seep underneath the door? <laughs> mm, oh man. no! I hey. will reroll. I would reroll my wait. character. This you know what you know what you could do though. You can make a puddle of water go under the door, and then I could use my uh my ring of sea stride or whatever it's called and teleport to the other side of the puddle. What? How does that work? Bring out the sea shutter. It lets me dimension door and in, inside of any uh any oh body my of. Oh god! Yeah. All right, here we go. Mission theme. Let's oh. roll. I'm just gonna use my regular feet to go through the okay, door. Okay, it's time to Yeah, see this. Uh, further. My question is, do you want to do this without waiting for the rest of your party, or? I you... am gonna go well, now. They have to wait I think because time is of the essence. Yet. Once per day is a swift action, as long as the wearer is in contact with the liquid. They can yes, use Dimension it's... Door as a spell, but it's starting any ending points once you connect by a contiguous mass of liquid. So... Yeah, so you can totally <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, totally do that, yeah. Okay, well, it's a bit of a moot point because... Yeah, because Apparently, as soon as Suru the reaches down. the um, aperture of the path, uh, she's... And Paulina mentions that, oh yeah, he went in there. She's going straight through it. So, um, so let me bring you to the map. All right. Uh, well, I'll shift everybody who's not here over to there. And move everybody who is here over to here, like so. And then I can... Vip. Ah. Yes. So, Akio, Kasumi, Pascal, and Shunichi, you're currently in the not here. So, I was going to turn uh, on dynamic lighting if you have that. Oh, I did? Yeah, oh, I can I see, see everything. All. Yeah. Oh. Well, fuck. I, I'm closing my eyes. I close my eyes. I don't know if mm -hmm. everything is. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Yoosh. we're back in Surugu. I'm going straight home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we wake up, serious. it's like, it was all a dream. It was all a dream. <laughs> now, Ciro kicks the door down, she falls out onto Saruga. Alright. There we go. Bit of a mistake. I remember nothing at all, strangely. I completely forget all about the whole room. Well, <laughs> you should also... What you should remember to do is actually reset your hit points, because... Yes, you've had a you've had a covered your strain. You've had yes. 
exactly what Tombstead. Tombstead. Yep. Stead. Tombstead. I don't know how this music started playing. I don't remember clicking on it, but it did. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Oh, good lord. Is it blue? Yes. But you know what? It's good music, so who cares? I, okay. I only hear seagulls. I don't know what you're talking about. I can hear the Terra Tower. Yeah, it's jaunty. Um, so, yeah, uh, Suru, there's a door right here. Are you just going to try and kick it down? Sure. Okay. I roll kick. Yeah, roll strength. Is the door open? Hmm? Oh, is it unlocked? Uh, oh, you tried that first? Yeah. Uh, trying the knob, it appears to be locked. Hold or on. rather, excuse me, you take the knob and you pull it. There it does not appear to be a lock on the actual door handle, but you can't push it open, simply. Well, then I just will... It appears to be barred. Sure. Alright, so you sort of step back and kick it, give it a good kick, but uh, the door resists the strength of your magnificent foot. It's a good foot, though. I'm glad you got us. Mm-hmm. Um... Sada, Paulina, and Maria. Maria's going to sort of stand aside, but Sada and Paulina, you can uh, try to do something in the meantime. Uh, hmm. All right, Sada's going to go around to the other side of the building. Oh, no. Oh, there isn't much here. All right, then. What's this thing? The pathway does continue that way, but uh, uh, it sort of thing? leads away from this building. That, that is a gap. really small gap between yeah. this, this warehouse and the one to the south of it. Can I see? Could I squeeze in there? You could. This, can I uh, see anybody? Any like windows or anything in there? Roll perception. All right. <laughs> it might be easier to climb if I have like my back against another wall. So. Let me find my perception. There it is. Well, you, there are windows here. They're pretty useless because the buildings are so close to each other. Yeah. But so there's windows. Uh, they're high up. All right. More perhaps useful to you is there appears to be an area where the wood of the wall has sort of rotted. Oh, okay. And loosened near the base of the building, where sort of refuse is piled up, and as a result, the wood has just sort of eventually been rotted. There's a bit of a weak spot here. I point out the zero. Might pull a kick for there. Why don't you go in there? I said I said it's a weak spot. I, if you want to go loud, that's a choice. I prefer to try to sneak up and see what's going on first, but I don't know how much your door kicking might have already alerted them. Probably completely. I don't know Probably it did. Do you want me to run over there and kick down the refuse pile? Is might as well. Pile? So it's a okay. weakened wooden wall. Here's here's me. Where is it? It's about here. Okay. In fact, I'll mark it off with a X. Should I just roll strength again? Uh, yeah, you don't really need to. The well, yes, please roll strength. Although, yeah, Suru, this is the issue. Um, you're in there. Sada can sidle through these two buildings. Yes, you're bigger than her, and you're in there in full armor. Your room to maneuver is actually very good. Um, but you're still able to match the DC. Um, you are able to sort of like just push through the wall eventually and 
with a crumbling noise, you are able to get in. It's a little scary. People come to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that. Sada, you just saw Suru disappear through the wall. Nice. At this point, the rest of the party arrives in the mouth of the hallway. Hey. Or the alley. Hello. Um... And uh, I'd appreciate it if you could all roll for initiative. I'm rolling for initiative. All right, let me. Uh... <laughs> I'm rolling for initiative. I'm Fibonacci. Hey. This is classic ch- ch- catchphrase. Oh no, I rolled a one. Oh that, wait, what the fuck was my? And so I finally don't go last. <laughs> oh, you can't just select your. Why can't they se- I selected my bug. Weird. Yeah, I'm selected as well. Well, you d- no, that only works if you roll it through the sheet, Nuva. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you need me to re-roll? No. Up too late. Um. Let's open this up. We're gonna activate reach mode. I really t- I can't yeah. stare at my pog anymore, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I, this is the first time you saw that, but yes, I did change it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time we look at him, it's just. Ah! <laughs> I'm just rolling something myself. Give me a sec. Alright. Oh my god, how did you get in that tiny. Uh. Where's this wall again that Zero went to? Was it this one? Oh, right there here. Is here. I see it. I assume we did not see you, so we are unaware of this. Yeah. Yeah. But I happen to. Put my back against the wall and fall through like a dumbass. Alright, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just rolling for one more person because Shinichi goes on your turn. Actually, no, two more people. Sorry. I like that, I like that too. Okay. So it is actually Maria's turn first, incidentally. She is going to start moving this way. Double moving, she only actually gets there because of squeezing through the space. Paulina, it is your turn. Um. Can I squeeze past her? What are the squeeze rules? Uh, you can't really get past her in that space now. Oh. Unfortunately. Uh, do the windows on the second floor look openable? Um, they look bla- breakthroughable. They're just sort uh... of like cloudy uh, plate glass windows. I feel kind of bad breaking a window, but I mean, we're gonna kidnap a guy, so <laughs> whatever. I'll spider climb up there and punch a window, I guess. Okay. Uh, there is a window right here. Oh, sweet. All right. Um, running up there, you're able to get there easily that fast, and you can run up walls. So yeah, uh, just make an attack roll against the window. Or are you just gonna like punch and dive through? I guess so. <laughs> well, glass is fragile, so uh, yeah, that works. You kick your way through the glass, um, and so land on the other side. Can you imagine uh, if you rolled a one? Make a reflex save, please. Sure. 
Actually, I guess with an attack. Alright, and you also get to, you also manage to avoid the falling glass. Um, as you do so, Pascal shouts at you, hey, are we going loud? I guess so. <laughs> Too late now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Siru, yeah. I don't want Broke this guy to get away. It'd be a complete waste of our time. Yeah, that's true. Siru, it's your turn. How far can I get with a double move? Um, that depends on your speed. So it's not normal speed. Yes. Not regular speed. Yeah, I don't know what your speed is off the top of my head, sir. I think it's right. 30. I never know. Let's look at your character sheet. I'm trying to do that, as a matter of fact. Alright, your base speed is 40, so in your medium armor is 30. No, that shouldn't... I have something to get rid of that. Yeah, it should be... Alright, if it says 30, it's probably right. Yep. So what am I going? So, you can move once, and then if you choose to move again, you can move an additional 30, speed, 30 feet. Are you? So yeah, to here would be 30. This large platform is a platform stacked on top of many, many barrels. So, you can't move through this. I think I should be able to make it towards that door, right? Towards it, yes. It'd be about 30 feet to here, and then... Probably about another 30 feet to, like, that area. Yes, and if you want, you can... While holding your pog, you can right-click on squares to actually... plot out where you want to go. I'm good here. Okay. Well, you're not actually good there. You're good there. Because as you try to pull around that corner, a rather frightening looking elven man uh, tries to stab you. Okay. Damn. Let's see. He's a little bit frightening. Um, what's your armor class? Does a 26 hit? A 26 will hit. Okay. Rolled an 11, so that's not a crit. Uh, Alright, he deals you a total of 33 damage from the sneak attack. Does this count as a uh, attack of opportunity? Um, it was more of a prepared attack. So. Prepared for an opportunity? It wasn't an attack of opportunity. He, okay. It was a prepared right. action. 33? Yes. I can put him on the initiative track. Actually, I get to reduce all that from... Okay, just... Let me reread damage reduction. Uh, you get to reduce that by your damage reduction amount, which should be like a 3 or 2. But does it apply to every hit? Yes. He only hit you once, though. Oh, okay. Um, and you also need to make a fortitude save, actually. I can do that right now? Yes, please. Uh, okay. Now that sort of saves me the trouble looking at the DC of this poison. I still have to look it up, but, uh, you feel fine. Except for the fact that he stabbed at you and left a small cut. Um, Kasumi, it is your turn. You just saw Palina leap up a wall, jump through a window. Oh, excuse me, Palina. Uh, I missed something on the GM and fell over the As you landed there, mm -hmm. you got stabbed. Oh, look at oh, that! Oh, no! Or you got stabbed at, anyway. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're flat-footed against this. Um, do, uh, okay. I feel like... Yeah. Okay, I can't think do of any... Do you have Uncanny Dodge? I, or improved maybe, Uncanny Dodge? Maybe. I feel like I have something, but I'm not sure. Let me look really quick. I got a... I got a this. I got a that. I... Mm, no. No? Okay, well... 
Uh, then you are flat-footed. What is your flat-footed armor class? Oh, it's a... 25! That's stu- that's stupid. I hate that. What? Really? What? I don't know. <laughs> is that not right? That seems weird, but... That seems extraordinarily high. How could that be? Wait, because I'm a cool monk. Right. Oh, but no, it's the sheet. It's using your miscellaneous uh, bonus that monks add, but you lose that when it's uh, when you're flat-footed. Uh, well, it's kind of just bugged out again. Heck. Um. So yeah, that. Um. Then plus that's. Um, nine is actually a. Takes. I lose my wisdom stuff and everything. Oh yeah. shit. That's no good. Well, that does it then. But it's not a crit, but so it's not an injury. So you do have to do a sort of matrix dodge as a rapier comes uh, shooting out of the darkness towards you. You take uh, ch- 25 strain. Okay. Um, and uh, Kasumi... Huh, interesting, you have the same... Okay, Kasumi, uh, hold on a sec. Since... Oh, wait. You're not actually in the building, Kasumi. You will go after these guys. Uh, bonuses to AC apply even when the monk is flat-footed. Oh, really? Uh Uh-huh. You don't lose any of that? I don't lose my wisdom and my extra bonuses per... Oh! Levels, cool. yeah. Well, then he missed. Whew. Take all your health back. Oh, sweet. So you are able to actually just totally matrix dodge a um, rapier blade scooting over you. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, a bunch of guys with crossbows now come out of hiding on top of those <laughs> platforms. I'll add them onto the... Well, that's that's a decent cool. amount. I added him to the map layer instead of adding him to the initiative tracker. That wasn't good. Okay. Ah. There we go. Um, so it's now their turn. Uh, and they're gonna take some shots at y'all. These three will sh- uh, these four can only shoot it. Well, this guy is going to walk over to here also. And shoot at Suru. The remaining four are going to shoot at Palina. Okay. Um, So, that missed. Uh, this one misses. Well, actually, no, these are coming out of stealth, so these are still flat-footed for you, Paulina. So, you said it was a 25? Uh, yep. Okay, so one has hit you so far. Okay, I catch it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you just snatch it out of the air. And I throw um, it back at him. Can you do that out of your turn? I don't know. It says a... Thrown weapon can immediately be thrown back as an attack against the original attacker. A thrown weapon. Oh, a heck. bolt is not a thrown weapon. Come on. It's All right. Thrown by a machine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the second, a third attack does hit you with a twenty-nine. Okay. But that does not crit. So that's nice. And uh, the fourth attack was not rolled. There we go. Uh, the fourth attack misses you. So one does hit you. Um, the eight plus five d six. Uh, you take twenty strain from the crossbow bolt. That does hit. Uh, last, the two attacking Suru. Suru, what is your um, three flat-footed armor class? Oh, how do I how do I okay. count for flat-footed? It should be a, a listed right under your regular armor class. There should be touch what and flat-footed. Okay. Uh, one of them hits you, and you take 20 strain. Very consistent, guys. Good job. Roll 20 is really getting on my nerves. Is it being slow? 
it's freezing completely. Yeah. So that's pretty slow. Huh. It can be a pain in the ass sometimes if there's a lot of things on the screen. Did you do the thing that I asked you to do with Firefox? Turn no, off I the never button. do anything you ask me to do. Okay. I, I feel like it might be hardware acceleration if you just turn that off because that's what I did. It, it picks it up. Kasumi, it is your turn. Um, and uh, yeah, you can hear the sound of crossbow uh, crossbows being fired and uh, some fighting going on inside of the warehouse now. What do you do? Root? Sorry, is there another exit to the warehouse? I feel like I'm going to be going up. There appears to only be the one. The one, the other, uh, the alleyway, it continues to go to the right, but it goes to another um, warehouse that's just sort of a butts it. Mm -hmm. I see. That's so, fine. besides the main entrance and the impromptu entrance that Suru created. And the other one, Pal created. Yes. Right. Then, yeah, I step inside and I want to take a look and maybe I'll be able to do one of these fabled ice blasts or maybe suffocate somebody. Alright, how do you want to actually step inside? Um, well, isn't the door broken down? Nope. No. No. There's a wall, wall, is... wall broken oh, down here in the oh, tight oh, alleyway. Oh. So, oh. takes movement. Right, right. Um... Yeah, you move at half speed through the tight alley. Because you're basically just sidling along it. Yes, I see. Well, yeah, I guess I will move through it as so. Like, I can't, like, widen it with a big ol' Kamehameha. Okay. I'm no. not sure why you would do that, either. So that I don't have to move it half, but I'll just sidle through, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you do have to move it half. Um... But you should have control over Jake's pod if you want to. I do. It's... Oh, it's this thing. I see. Is it the thing where I see Sada's pod right now? Yes. Okay. There should be a little... No. X. Uh -huh. okay. What is Kasumi's movement? Probably 30. It is 30. Alright. Can confirm. So she can get to just behind this man. Using all of her, all of her might. Yep. You have sort of sidled along, and now you have Kanga lined up behind Sada. Whose turn it now is? All right. Can I? Uh, hmm. Can I diagonal move up to the square here? You cannot. All right. Well, then I guess that's. This is ten feet, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and then I'd use them. Would be another ten feet to go inside, or? Uh, yeah, you have to sort of like step through the hole. Oh, okay. Well, then I use another ten feet to step inside. Okay. You are they now can inside. Take me in. Oh right. Thank you. I forgot. There's no actual hole there. Um... Oh wait. Before I did that, I wanted to cast. Uh, I wanted to use greater invisibility. Okay. My key. You are now <laughs> invisible. Yes. And in the warehouse. Cool. All right, be here. All right, and uh, how much movement do I have? That's 20, so I have another 20 left, I think? Yeah. Yep. All right. And then if I want a dull move. Make a perception check. All right. Now where the heck is my skills, skills, skills? It's under skills. Yep. Eighteen. Okay. Do you want to double move, or do you want to do something else? I might double move. Give me a second here. I just want to check off my key on my sheet here. So Put that down to nine. All right. Yeah, Sada's gonna double move. Over to here. 
All right, you actually sort of stop bouncing oh. into this uh, space. Um, you walk into another man. Another invisible man. Uh, rapier, and you sort of bounce off of him, and he whirls around and just sort of stabs right into where, well, he thinks you are. You actually get to here. You can't oh, okay. uh, directly move across that. Um, so uh, he stabs at you. What's your armor class? Armor class is one second. Lower than 29? Yes. All right, let's see if it actually hits you because you are invisible. You want a two. Yep. Oh you no. Want a one. So. Sneak attack deals you 27 uh, strain as you ah. are forced to sort of leap back away from his assault. And it is now Pascal's turn. Pascal's going to look down the alleyway that everyone's sidling uh, down and just go, nope, and try to plow his way through the store. Uh, gets a bonus to strength checks because of himself. Because of himself? Yeah. It's fair. So he has Okay. So, oh. Um uh... Alright, this music is actually making it a little difficult to think. <laughs> Gotta lower that slightly. Lower my volume, rather. Uh, all right, so. <clears throat> oh, I'm breaking down a door. He's actually up to a plus 11 on strength check. And he does. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do one ever stood a chance. Uh, oh, so course. yeah, Pascal just sort of charges the door and shoulder tech checks it, and it uh, it Is turns into. Did I say what? Tap. Did he just tap the door. No, he shoulder checked it. Oh, okay. I was. And the the Paulina, you hear a loud snap as the. Uh, bar that had been across the door just cracks in half and the door falls inward uh, and suddenly Pascal is standing there only it's not Pascal it's it's, it's, it's strong Bellwest um, but that took his turn but on the bright side Paulina you are now flanking the ro uh, the assassin instead of him well he wasn't flanking you in the first place but he is now not in a good spot Akio is your turn Uh, I'm gonna follow Pascal, because I don't like the look of this. That thing that uh, that it gets So... Let's do it's X? Uh, what, what? Did I just break it? What? The fuck is... Oh, okay. Um, also, Frood, uh, Kasumi has an injury that I don't think she should have. Uh, she's taken strain. Uh, right, is... She should be on full health. Uh, is there a is there a space is there a space next to um, the scale that I can take up because I can move through the feet? Yes, you'll take an attack. The rogue is right next to that door, so you oh, will take okay. an attack of opportunity. But okay, then I guess I'll just end up right next. To the door. I don't. And I am gonna see if I'm within range to do a flash. 
dazzling display. Let me see. I believe it's within line of sight, but I don't remember. It's been a while. It's basically within uh, whether people can see you and within 30 feet, I think. Okay, so let me see. Are they within 30 feet? I'm just out of range. Okay. A lot of them are. Okay, then I'm just going to do it. Uh, well, actually, wait a second. I don't think this is using the right... Uh... Yeah. Okay, let's try measuring that again. Ah, uh, yeah. See, these are two those... guys are actually out of range. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, also, oh, you might want, you could wait, or you could just do it again on your next turn. You know, yeah. Also, display as much as you want. Yeah. Also, I you know what? Yeah. There's it's not like it uses up a flint pool. Also, I should use my seven up pool that I always forget about. Uh, is that uh, barrel gonna act as like a penalty against anything? Those those pile of barrels or whatever. Um, the barrels themselves are obstructions. So. So yeah. All right. Well, I can get this guy right. Currently, and also this dude. Oh, I don't. Whoa, I don't Ooh. see him. I could, I could not see him. Okay. You can He's... see half of him. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was one of ours. Okay, that's what you meant. I thought he was like right here for some reason, and I couldn't see him. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna roll intimidate. Okay. Go. Do it. I dazzle display. Uh, where's intimidate? Under skills. No, I know. There it is. Did I roll? I... That oh. was actually not that good. Wow. Um, what happens when you fail a dazzling display? I mean, they don't get shaken. Uh, also, you stab I'm, I'm yourself. Just checking, I'm checking their... Uh, the DCs of what this are. Of what... And... A one. At least it wasn't me saying something stupid and then being like, "Yeah, I'm confident enough I can do it." Target's hit dice plus target's wisdom modifier. All right, his is plus one, so his is a two, and his is a nineteen. Okay, so actually, yeah, you demoralized both of them. Congratulations. Oh. Hey! Alright, cool. And that's all I can do. I'll be right back. I need to use the rest of it. Alright. Um, here we go. So he's demoralized. He's demoralized. I also need to use the rest of him, so I will be right back, and then we will continue. Alright. Take a short break. Alright, uh, well, actually, then I'll be back. Yeah, that's actually the end of the initiative order, so... I'll be back as soon as I can be back. I'll remember to move Shunichi over here. Okay. How are we gonna get out of this one, guys? Damn.
Hello, Beck. Hello. Hello. Right. No, did Jake win the, the wrestling? This guy did, I think. Seems so. The American Beetle. Wait, what the fuck? That dude has a tiny head. Oh, okay. No, it, it's it not was, a tiny head, okay. it's just... Yeah. It's an optical oh. illusion. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> That dude's got a tiny fucking head. Okay, anyhow, what's going on? Nothing. We're waiting for Sal to get back. Oh, okay, well, let me look at this smash pole that you linked me on the side. Alright. Please stop joking about Steve coming to Smash, I don't want it. Uh, hey, they should make Steve into a, a me costume. That'd I'm be a good okay fit. with that. Yeah. He'd be okay the good, good sword fighter pick, right? Still, still don't know how to feel about Sora. Probably because I hate him. Yeah. Where did cells go? We may never know. Uh, of course. Wait a second. Hey, Nuvo. What's up? Want to see a photo that's going to confuse you? Okay, where? Sure. Are, Are you, you going, going to, to I'm going to post it in Sal's Pathfinder so everybody else can have the context. Here, check uh, this out, Nuvo. Okay, I s I'm going to open this up for a second. I'm not sure why you think this will confuse me. Okay, so we've got a... What the fuck? Oh. Okay, that's just... Is this... Okay, that's not a lake reflection. Oh my god. Did you figure it out, Nuva? Oh, it's upside down. Okay. <laughs> it got me for a second, then I realized. <laughs> okay, I'm like, what the fuck kind of lake reflection is that? Yeah. <laughs> it just turns out the camera was upside down. Oh my god. I wonder what- yeah, wow, that's- that's... yeah. It's like, All what right. the fuck's up with the clouds? I'm, I'm happy that I'm not a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't even look at the clouds first, I looked at the bottom of the picture. Cause that's where obviously your attention's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank god. And it turns out it wasn't clouds, it was a bunch of rocks. Ah, uh, rocks. Rocks. Love me some rocks. Literally. Ow. Ow. What are you doing? I don't know, my fucking hands hurt. Oh. I think I've been... Like, I get why my, my left hand would be, like, hurting. I've been, like... I don't know, I... Oh, it's the mouse. Okay, wait one second. I think... I think... Not aligned in my chair because my sister said I didn't have to adjust it because he's so short. There we go. All right. Yep. So, how is everybody? All right. It's wonderful to hear. How are you, Rita? Good. Anything interesting happen in your life? Hmm. You went up to a cabin, did you see a bear? Yeah. I went... I went to a cabin? A while ago. I think you did. Oh, I Yeah! No bear. You see Bigfoot? Oh, that's unfortunate. No Bigfoot. Damn. Are you even... Are you even in Bigfoot country? I don't think hey, you are. Hey, Bigfoot's everywhere. Where does Bigfoot live? I think Damn. Philadelphia? What? I, I think Bigfoot's everywhere, man. 
I thought he's was... out in like the Rockies or something. One second. Where does where was the Bigfoot thing happening? I don't even remember. Where it's everywhere. Bigfoot? So let me get the, the Bigfoot Big... sightings map out. The total legit Bigfoot. Bigfoot, map. Bigfoot was found in probably Oregon, Washington, British Columbia. What? Mm -hmm. Where's British Columbia? Okay, so Maria Appiah's turn. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Canada had an area 10, called British 15, Columbia. Yeah. Or 20, 30, 10, 20. So Maria Appiah is able to get up to you, next to you, Sada, but she can't attack this turn. All right. All right. The assassins are going to go. The assassins. He rolls a pretty well. Hate those guys. Um, Paulina and um, Akio. Hello. Would you and Sada? Would you and also Pascal? He's not a person. Um, Whoa! Would you kindly roll perception? All right. Oh. Perception. Okay. Alrighty then. Hey, I rolled better this time. I rolled... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, All right, okay. Pal, you're able uh. to spot this guy as he uh. made a trek from... Well, basically he did this. Well, I don't like that. Yeah, okay. Are you going to tell us? Yeah, there's a dude over here. Oh, thank you. I she can say him. right now, actually. There's a dude over here. Oh, thank you. I didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Paulina, yep. it is your turn. Huh. Well, I don't want to get flanked. That would suck. Yeah, it would. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I also don't want arrow dudes to shoot at my friends. But now that I know that these guys are assassins, I also don't want them to hurt my friends. It's tough. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Am I, are we flanking this corner, guy? Is that how it works? Mm, technically, no. No? Oh, okay. Well, then I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where Hopefully. the fuck are you going? I'm gonna go over here and punch these arrow guys. Are you just flying, kicking up there? Yep. I'm okay, gonna cool. do the first couple against the corner guy and another couple against the other guy. Alright. You're gonna take a tax opportunity against like from like all three Wait, what do you mean? Which ones? This guy? Yep. This guy. Oh. Uh. And this guy. Oh, that's okay. Going to that space. I'm not afraid of those guys. Alright, go ahead. Damn. Or hmm, what if I go here. <laughs> and then you of... only take the one attack of top opportunity from the assassin. And then I will dance into this position after hitting him. Okay. Okay, we. Okay, let me roll my wee. attack. Please don't uh, hurt me. I probably won't. You're. Oh. I hurt is that, you. Is that sound? Plus four against the attacks of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait. Shit, you just need it? That sucks! Well, I rolled a 20, so it automatically hits anyway. On the yeah, bright side, it almost certainly... Yeah, but at a 35, you just need it. That bites. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. But on the bright side, that means I almost I would have to roll 22. <laughs> so, um... Oh. So you're not crit. Okay. And he just... And he just deals you a mass amount of damage. He only deals you four damage. Oh. Sure. Okay. As he takes a wild swipe at you as you rock it away. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my attacks. Okay. I assume those hit? Except for the last one, probably? Yeah, I assume those do. Okay, uh, so... Except for the last one. Mm -hmm. um, so after, yeah, the first one, you, you punch him, but good. Okay. Uh, 
the second one, you're still punching him? Yep. Okay, well, you get jab damage on that. Oh, all right. Uh, I'd also like this to be non-lethal, preferably. Okay. I don't know what the deal is That's with these fine. guys. Yeah. Uh, jab, 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 Okay. He is looking quite wobbly. Okay. Oh, uh, ooh. I also have, uh, uh that, uh, trait. Oh yeah, you're the only one threatening this guy, so yeah, yeah. you'll deal plus two, uh, additional two damage. Sweet. All right, he looks slight, uh, slightly worse than before. <laughs> okay. Um, attack three against him. He is still up, but you get another jab. Yep. And that'll knock him out. Okay. What? Um, and the last attack goes against this guy? Indeed. Okay. Okay. Goes, ah! Should have called it as a stunning fist. That's okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Good job, Paulina. Suru, it is your turn. Uh, yeah. I will attack the elf man that is directly next to me. He sneers at you. Uh, I sneer back. He sneers harder. I sneer even harder than that. Alright. Oh, right. I'm not backing yeah. I want someone to tell me what they're looking at. Not Zero, not the attacker. What are they doing? Describe it. Alright, so the first attack, Zero, you slice outward, slam into a barrel. It starts pouring out ale, and he slips on the ale slightly in his footwork to try and avoid your zamba. And you take that opportunity to cleave him in half. Oh. Sneer at both parts of him. He's dead now. Cool. You've won the sneering contest. You have. You could take a five foot step if you want. I could, and I do. I can. You can. You can do that diagonally, can you? Yes. I do that diagonally. Okay. That's me. Okay. Um, Elf there. I'm sure crossbow men uh, are going to go. Hey, we need help with this one. <laughs> After seeing what you just did to that guy, so this guy is going to walk over to here, but he can't really see you because of the angle. This guy will take a five foot step over here, and three of them will take shots at you. Right. Suru, your armor class? Ooh, that's a potential crit. 23, it should be. Still okay. Yep. Um, all three hit, and one of them critically hits you, so I'll do... Ooh, the... That's not good. Yeah, so you take 12 brain from regular hits. So 24? Uh, no, that's just 12 strain regularly. And then you take a 7 as a crossbow bolt just actually punches into your leather armor and you can feel it punch into the not deep, but into the meat of your shoulder. Okay, so it was minus... So minus 12 normally, and then you have a 7 point injury. It's an yeah. extra modifier to your total. Which I have to oh, this stupid. Place. Yes. Um, meanwhile, there's this poor guy who's trapped by Pat, uh, by Paulina, and um, he's gonna drop his crossbow and draw a Swared. <clears throat> does he have? So he draws his sword as a move action, and will attempt to stab you with his rapier. Okay. Yeah. Your armor class is higher than 23. Yes. Alright, so you easily dodge out of the way. Is there any way other than just lowering your max hit point? Was there like a... Debuff? There isn't. There's no... This isn't... Remember, this is a, not a official... 
Okay. Uh, system for yep. HP. So. so unfortunately, that is the primary way. On the bright side, it does lower both current and maximum HP at the same time. Kasumi, it is your turn. All right, I got to get out of this narrow thing to this yeah, blue you do. check. So. One, two, three. So that cost me 30. So just doing to this is one whole move. Correct. And, uh, and I will bring you in here. So that was 10 feet of additional movement if you double move oh, to get in. Then that's... So I have 20 feet of movement. There's okay. three men and no babies. Yes. Although those three men up on the platform, you can't really... You don't really have an angle on. The Paulina ones? Uh... The, these guys. Oh, uh, I don't have an angle on them. Yeah, you're. They're about 15 feet up on a, on top of a bunch oh. of barrels. Oh. Does Kasumi have like a water jet? Fortunately, no. Not that I know of, anyway. F fortunately. I said unfortunately. Oh. Okay. You should be able to see this guy, right? Can't like kinetic blast herself. Oh, is that a bad man? It is. Not a good man. Wasn't sure if it was one of us in disguise. No, it is not. Um, what is in these barrels? Ale, apparently, at least in the ones near me. I see. Then, um... Well, I'm already using a move to have gotten through that, so I'm not going to be able to do any kind of attack. Hmm... Just measuring real quick. She gets here. Yeah, all right. Well, she'll, I suppose, get into position here so that she can start taking actions and not get onto somebody else's park space. I can't, like, yeah, she can't climb up a 15 foot thing, scale it. Okay. Sada, it's your turn. All right. So is this guy visible or? He yes. is visible, yes. All right. He All was right. just stealthy. Oh, okay. All right, so I was gonna do a do a four round attack on him. Okay. Find my four round attack attack. There we go. That's, oh no, nope, never mind. That's not the right invisible, one. You are invisible, so. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll do a two handed for now. All right. Keep it keep it chill. Don't burn with the fire. Don't show off. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, both of those hit. All right. Uh, roll sneak attack. I will. Leave. And congrats. He's evil, so the holy damage oh. actually applies. Oh, hey, cool. All right. There you uh, go. You more moral plunger here. Kill them all. They're evil. <laughs> oh, excellent. Hit sneak attack twice. So 16 and 18. Okay. Um, let me add all that damage up together. 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus oh. 4 plus 7 plus 16 plus 18. And I give him two dexterity damage with the sneak attacks. Pressure points there. Eh, my dexterity goes. <laughs> Why you do this? Um, okay. And he took a total of, I say, 67 damage. So good job. Nice. He's still up. But, uh, he is, he was basically defending himself by the sound of your sword. And also because of the errant flames that sort of come off of it and sort of give it away in its invisibility. He's able to defend himself at least, but, uh, he's not looking so good. All right. He was uh, quite tiresome. That, uh, then five foot steps with the end of her turn over to here. Okay. And I decrease my invisibility slightly. Okay, Pascal is going to take his. Um, he hasn't gotten this yet, so he's going to take his scissor. And he is going to try and punch this guy with it. Aha! Uh -huh. And he's going to full round attack. I just haven't added attacks to a sheet, apparently. So, minus 5 off this, that does 19, so his second attack misses. It does do 14 damage to this guy. Um, who has not taken damage yet. As he punches at him with the scissor, and the guy goes, ah! Yeah! 
Ah! Large ah. man! Ah. Akio, it's your turn. Oh, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna... Oh, that fucker's still in there. He is. I'm oh, the Akio. I just, I just want to go in without being it. Oh, whatever. I go in. <laughs> I want to do a dazzling flash. Fuck you, asshole. All right. I. I, mean, I he I, takes an attack of opportunity against you as you move. But where are you moving? I'm gonna go here. Okay. Wow! Look at all these fucking assholes. Is that a What's your armor class? Uh, twenty-seven, I believe. Let me make sure. Well, if it's twenty-seven, I hit. I. Uh, Fucking asshole. <laughs> 27. Okay. Um, on the bright side, attacks of opportunity are not uh, sneak attacks, so you only take 6 strain. Uh, As he swipes at you with his rapier. Uh, but it feels bad. That's that. It hurts my pride. Uh, dazzling flash. Okay. Wait. Dazzling display? Roll. Uh... Dazzling display. Wait, let me make sure. So you're within range, you're within range. Make sure everyone's in range of being flashed. Not you, ass, but not you assholes. But you're dealing with Suro, so you're my, you're you're good as dead. Okay, roll uh, uh, intimidate. I roll another. Okay, point. so yeah, you uh, you have freaked out everybody. It's just, I mean, they're watching Suro cleave people in half, and and I'm juggling Alina my... just like punch a whole bunch of people, and you, but you juggle a show that sort, and you intimidate yeah. the crap out of them, including you, asshole. <laughs> yep, including him. Guy is an asshole. He is. I'm sick of him. Kind of a dick. I'm gonna come down there and cleave you in twine. Alright. Twine? Maria Apia is going to move over here. Twine. Twain. Twain, thank you, that's the word. How do you spell that? Is that like Mark Twain? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, nice job, Maria. That actually is a crit thread. Which she'll confirm. And her second attack will miss. But the crit. It's crappy. So he's still alive. Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, she has, She's a swashbuckler, so she actually adds her level damage. So, no, she actually killed the guy. Nice. Uh, so yeah, she stabs this guy in the eye perfectly, and he just goes Grr! and falls to the ground. Gross. But now is the assassin's turn. This assassin is going to move like so. As he... Oh, actually it's uh, Shinichi's So he is actually going to move Like so. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'll move over here, actually. So, these two assassins are going to attack Pascal. Oh no. They both rolled 30 to hit. Oh no. Uh, with their initial attacks. On the bright side, Pascal is a great... A um, tower shield specialist. Stone armor. Which means he has an AC of 34. Holy shit. Wow. Um, so, right. yeah. You can thank Fruit for that. <laughs> um, thank you, Fruit. Not thank wanting them to you. die. <laughs> um, and yeah, their follow up attacks fail. As they just unleash upon him a torrent of blows, which uh, he is able to. Onto Great Shield, but he's still disguised as Strong Roberto, so it just sort of looks like he's taking them on his arm, and they're all really confused. <laughs> just holding his arm out. That's awesome. Yep. I'm awkward. Um, Palina, it's your turn. Cool, 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 cool. Um, shit. That's so fucking bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> How's uh, how's this guy here looking? Um, he looks well. You gave him a good kick, um, but that he was able to duck, but uh, it took a bit out of him. 
Okay, I want to... Oh, I want to hit him until he falls down and then flying kick this guy so we're flanking. Okay. And... Oh, you do, uh, do that over that small bow. Yeah, it's a little tiny thing. Yeah, it's take a, a little bow. jump step on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I do you get the chance to hit the elf guy? I want to hit him with a stunning fist if it... You know. You know. Sounds good. Uh, hop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That poor man. Alright. Um, roll your first jab attack. F's in the chat. Okay. Alright, so your second attack, you... you punch him uh, punch at him once and he dodges only to uh, dodge into your open palm which just slams under his chin uh, slamming his jaw up into his head um, with a bone chilling crack uh -huh. and you actually oh. see a, a few teeth like fly out and mm, whoops. he just falls over okay cool He's quite unconscious. Okay. And he's surprised. Uh, and yeah, then you fly and kick over to that guy who goes, oh. And uh, yeah, you get plus two to your attacks because he's <coughs> flying. Um, so you hit even more than you already did. <laughs> so, um, so let me. Oops. Right, so your first attack does whoopsie. Um your first attack you said is a stunning fist? Yep. Oh, hold up. Roll twenty just froze. There we go. Um so alright. So your first attack does eleven damage. And he has to roll a four or two save. Yep. Does that pass? Uh, no, it's twenty one! Ah! He's stunned! I finally stunned somebody! <laughs> Is this the first time? Who knows? Feels like it. Yeah, flying fist. Holy shit. That low DC. It's really bad, yeah. I don't see how that's right now. Also, he takes the additional one damage per, uh... Oh no, because we're beside him. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, you... you're no longer getting penetrating for that, Do but... those three hit him, then? Uh, all three of them hit, yeah. So, so... you actually get a couple of more tabs on him. Okay, so I get... The first jab and the second jab. Oh boy. But then also, my feet kicks in because he's stunned now, and I get to hit him twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Are you happy about that? No, it's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, um, that also hits. Cool. Uh, he's unconscious. <laughs> okay, have cool. To... Okay. <laughs> Just, stop, he's already dead! <laughs> okay. Um, well, no, the jabbing style oh, damage the applies regardless. Uh, yeah, no, Paulina can really lay it out. So you reduced him from 86 HP to negative 39. <laughs> um, but you did say you were doing non-lethal, so uh, yeah. he's unconscious for okay. like the next week and a half. Good. Um, it's probably really bad for him. He, he, should, he needs to see a neurologist after this. Um, Suru, it's your turn. You guys wait one second while I climb this ladder. I'll be right <laughs> with you. What? Can I, like, jump from here to here? It's an acrobat. How, how high is it? It's 15 feet. I'm going to try it. I don't care. I'm not scared. All right. I don't think this has ever worked out for me at all, but I'm this still going to try it. going to be very difficult to do. Um, so that's actually a pretty good roll. Uh, but the jump, the DC for uh, high jump is high. Let me look that up. Um, so I believe you, you have something that always gives you a running start, do you? Or yes, do you? I do. Okay. Yes, I do. That's what I thought. Um, all right. So, 
a high jump greater than four feet. A four foot high jump is a DC 16, and the DC Why? is five four feet. feet. Yeah, you jump four feet up in the air. Like your feet are actually leaving the nice. the earth by four feet. Yeah, no, normal people. Yeah, and that's why the acrobatics DC is a 16, but it increases by four per foot. So you're trying to jump up 15 feet, technically slightly higher because you're on an angle, whatever. Um, so the DC for that, that's an additional 10 feet. So the DC, yeah, the DC for la uh, for 15 foot high jump is 50. Okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna make that then. Uh, so no, but you do get up onto the ladder. Yeah. That is also what I was going to ask about. So yes. I'll so, just take it from there. Mm -hmm. Then I can just um, move here. Yeah, you can just uh, finish up. Uh, climbing up the remainder of the ladder um, is... Let me see. You're pretty far up the ladder at that point. Uh, well, you're about midway up the ladder. So yeah, go, getting up the ladder is a uh, action at that point. But you are now threatening all these archers. What now? They go, oh no. Luckily, it's our turn. This well, guy's my gonna take a... Oh, well, I guess it would be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have a swift action, but I don't think you really have it. So, this guy's gonna take a five foot step over to here, and they're all going to aim at you and fire their little crossbows. Fifteen. Six. That's pretty high. It is pretty high, but it's it's a that'd be a really high jump. <laughs> uh, what's your armor class? Twenty three. So two of those hit. It looks like. Yep. You take a toll. Yeah, you just hold your sword uh, in front of you. The the crossbow bolts just sort of bounce off. You take a toll of three strain. Yeah, that and... doesn't even beat my damage reduction. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, they're individually a one and a two, so they actually just saw a bounce. The, the three are the three crossbowmen look at you after firing. At you. Literally bounce off your skin, and then they just look at. Do? That's not good at all. That, then they look at the crossbows, and then they look back at you, <laughs> and then they realize that they're in trouble. Oh, um, this last crossbowman is going to try and shoot Akio because he's scary. Sorry, what? Oh, this is how you respond to being scared? Yeah. Akio, unless your armor class is above a 28. 27. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no! So, uh... You take a six-point injury. Oh. As a crossbow bolt sort of hits a weak point in your armor and you can feel it pierce into your skin a bit. I scream. Uh, why did I get joint and armor when I could So you could move? I don't need to move when I'm a wall. Oh, this hurts how much damage. It's a six point injury, so it's a, oh. it's a, you have to modify your actual hit points. Um, oh, On right. your character uh, sheet. I, uh, let's see. Under core, you go down to hit points. You can just double click your pocket I believe. Let's see here. Minus six. Yeah, on, on the... Oh, uh, yeah. Like this, right? There we go. Yes. It's been a while. There we go. There you go. Wait, wait what the fuck? Uh... Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, I, I, I misread that. Kasumi, it's your turn. I'm really selling this wound. Fruit Sumi? Oh, I'm not used to that. Um... Well, that guy's dead now. That uh, guy's dead that now. That could have been Tier, I'm assuming. <laughs> ah, that would have been good. Can I just, like, can I climb up these barrels so that I can get advantage on one of these guys and shoot an ice blast at him? Sure. All right, I scramble up these ale barrels. Yep. Yeah, it's not, they're, they're secured in place. They're, like, roped down, so they don't move underneath you. And uh, yeah, up on that, it gives you about another six feet of height. So yeah, you can sort of, you can't, you don't see the top of, you're not above the platform at this point, but at this point you can sort of see the tops of these guys' heads. All right, I want to shoot them. So they're in cover. This guy is still 
is wholly visible to you. Just to let you know. Which guy is wholly visible? This guy. Oh. What's because that he's on the edge. Thing on him. Oh, is that him frightened? Yeah, he's uh, shaken because of dazzling this. All right. Well, I mean, these three dudes are threatening Suru. I mean, not that it's really a big concern that anybody's you threatening just, Suru. Yeah, you didn't see it. Kasumi didn't see it, of course, but uh, they just they fired their crossbows at them and they bounced off. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll just I'll just kill the man I can see well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Ice Blast. I don't know. It, I think it does some kind of thing called Drained. Burn. Burn. Yes, a nice blast should be about two points of burn. And I, how many burns do I have? You can take up to your level in burn. But every time you take burn, you take uh, uh, non-lethal damage equal to your level. Oh, I'm getting that wrong. I don't. And I don't. Yeah, it's complicated. I'm just gonna click the ice blast button. Yeah, just do it. You're not going to uh, burn today. I highly doubt it. <laughs> this is not right. an endurance. He took. If that hits him. Yeah, that hit him. Um, what happened to him? You impaled him through the neck. He falls over limply with an icicle sticking out of him. Rest in pieces. Good job, Kasumi. You. Murder. Hey. <laughs> Nothing new there. <laughs> yes, it doesn't matter who's playing him. Her. Sada, is your turn. Alright, uh, Sada's gonna, let's see. Hmm, looks like we only have, uh, three dudes over here. There's still this door as well. Yeah, I'm gonna probably head to the, for that door, because I imagine by the time I get get over to here, the Sue will probably have killed all these dudes. Uh, oh. Probably at least, hopefully, one of them. Yeah. All right, there's 40 of my feet. And then I'll double move for another 40. Mm -hmm. To this door. Mm -hmm. Can I try anything with the door? No, you just double moved. All right, I figured, I just wanted to make sure. That's my um, turn. Did I forgot <laughs> that the rules work. Well, I don't know, I, was, I wasn't sure it could be like a swift or something. I, don't I constantly forget how the rules work, so... <laughs> you can jiggle the door handle as a... Yeah. Uh, as can, a can I try to like jiggle it, see if it's locked? Yes, and it is locked. Alright. Alright, Pascal's turn. He is going to try and keep scissoring this guy. Hmm. What? He's roaring this guy. It's size uh. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. Well, he did the same thing. He hit with the first, missed with the second. The guy is... He's wearing him down. But Pascal's damage output is not particularly high. Um, Akio, is your turn. Alright, I'm gonna charge at... Is there anybody I can actually charge at? No, most of them are... Wow, that dude right next to Pas... Uh, Pau is still alive. And there's no way I can approach without initiating a... Hey, you could probably right. step on this dude. Yeah, he's unconscious. Yeah, you can walk through that so you, could, you could walk and actually, there and if you... And really that's ten feet, so you would charge him. I don't really feel like attacking an unconscious dude. No, you'll no, be, you be standing on, you'll just be standing on him. him. Oh! Uh -huh. That makes it okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. And you said I can charge still? Yep. Yes. You're moving ten feet. Even... Okay. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let me... Let me one second, let me remember what it is to charge, because it's been a while. You just add two to your attack roll. It's a uh, single attack. E roll. Every single time. I feel like every single time I ask that, because it's such a small thing. Alright. I feel like it is too. I'm Maybe sorry. Maybe write it down. Um, uh, here we go, I'm gonna attack. Alright, if you move there, you will take an attack of opportunity. If oh. you move on top of this guy, you won't. There you go. Oh, I didn't even realize you... Okay, I... Yeah, right, cool. And then I'm gonna roll... Yeah. Alright, so you only get the one attack. So unfortunately that crit down at the bottom doesn't happen. But oh, well. you did roll a 30 to hit. So you did hit. Actually you rolled a 32 to hit. 
And yeah. Technically, you... I rolled a 30 because I'm still sickened, right? Oh, true. I forgot that. Well, uh, that should be taken into account, actually, if you have a checked on. So, um, yeah, 15 damage as he's looking pretty injured. Oh, well, not injured, but uh, he is defending himself uh, like his life defends on it, which, judging by the fate of a couple of his compatriots, it, probably, it possibly does. Um, I, yeah. use, I use up my movement as well when I charge, yes? Yes, that's a full round action. I would have actually tried to talk him down if he's being all like... No, he looks like he's going to try to kill him. Uh, I see. Well, too bad, friend. You're going to die. You go to hell. <laughs> wow. Uh, Maria Appia is going to move to here. She can sort of see this guy. He'll be in cover, and he's out of her primary range increment by, like, two. So she's going to take quite a bit of a... But she could potentially hit with this. So she's taking a minus four to hit, or rather he's uh, minus four to hit because of the range. So it's only a plus ten. And his and he has plus four AC. So let's see if this hit. Well his AC went up to twenty-five, so yes, it does. Um So she throws a dagger at him. And deals him 13 strain. As he has to suddenly dodge the flying dagger that comes up. Oh, shit. Um, it is now the lone assassin's turn. He is going to try and stab you, Akio. Alright. Since Pascal doesn't seem to be working. Um... So yeah, he stabs at you, uh, and he misses. I've been forgetting to take his Shaken into account, so that's actually a 16. And uh, yeah, he misses you severely. Cool. You easily deflect his blade. I look at him. Is this really how you want to die? <laughs> no, it's how I want you to die. And then he stabs you. Uh. Oh, hi. How did he get a second turn? <laughs> oh, wait. He does have a second attack. Thank you for ah! Fuck you, <laughs> I told you, he, uh, he missed hard. He uh, missed again? Yes, he missed again. He rolled should even I... lower. I'm sorry, should I be able to see your rolls? I'm rolling openly. Yeah, he's rolling. Yeah, I'm rolling. Uh, hmm? I it's yeah, yeah. up to you. We can pour down the cob, by the way. It's very good. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's late summer corn. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, Paulina, it's your turn. Ooh, okay. You have so far saved the lives of two men. Cool. But not their teeth. No. No, 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 no. Um, okay, I'll just fight. Fight this, uh, fight this dude. Just fight him. Take a little step over to him. Excuse me, three minutes. Uh, okay. And, um... Do, do a flurry of blows. Do it. With, uh, with a hammer blow on the first one. Oh. Yeah. Those all hit. <laughs> Sick. Um, yeah, you don't have to roll the additional die. You, oh. uh... <laughs> okay. He's dead. <laughs> he, he's very unconscious. Um, as you just fly, uh, you just sidestep over to him and just lay into him as he's distracted trying to fight Pascal and Akio and just six seconds later you've hit him so many times that his face just looks like a pulp and he just collapses. Jeez. Well, great. Nice! Yeah, I feel like with these guys here we're on the right track. I mean, you'd know better than me, but yeah, it seems that way. Cool. Cool. Doing the right thing. <laughs> Suru, it's uh, your turn. Alright, I have a couple questions. Can, yes. I, can I charge after five foot step? No. It's a standard action to change my stance? It is a 
move action to change your stance. So I wouldn't be able to charge after changing my stance either. No. This is a bad game. I quit. <laughs> well, you get hey, that's like you get a free stance at any raid, but uh... yeah, but I took accurate stance. So yes. Well, too late. Sorry. I guess I'm just go here and attack this guy with a regular <laughs> attack. Okay. You can just ignore the other ones. I, I'll... Okay. Well, interestingly enough, it was Maria's uh, Maria Appia's dagger that puts put him at 51 HP from... So, uh, yeah, you sort of just plow into him and with... To vary it, you actually stab him with your Zambato and it just, like, crumples his chest in. Can I use the rest of my movement then? Uh, you five foot step, so you cannot no, move. I after didn't that. actually. They have ranged attacks. I don't think you get uh, hmm? attack of opportunity on me, would he? No. Then no, I wipe. I wouldn't five foot step. I would just normally move. Yeah, but you were here. Okay. Oh well, yes, but no. If you're moving and then attacking, then then you can't move again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm right. about to... Okay, so yes. So this man is dead. Hell yeah. Um, his two fellows... Uh, are not going to fight to the death. They throw down their crossbows and just be like, Oh, please don't kill us! I'll think about it. They look to each other nervously. And with that... Combat is over. Damn. I take the arrow out of my armpit joint because that's <laughs> where. Because I, I feel like that's where I got hit. Okay. It hurts. Wait. It let hurts. me look at. Let me look at the stupid picture I used for reference for Akio's armor again. Make sure that I didn't get hit in the balls. So... All right. So combat's over. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. All the way the for everybody to. <laughs> He's I'll seriously outnumbered. I'll wait for everybody to get over here first, then I'm gonna open the door. Okay, I'm gonna. Shinichi is going to walk over to you, Akio, for the time being, and just lay his hand on your shoulder and heal your severe and horrible wound. I don't know. I'm gonna throw these guys' crossbows off of here. I I'm can't so, stay up here, so I'm, I'm gonna... so happy you're here, Shinichi. I mean, Shinichi. I mean, <laughs> Shinichi. 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 Shunichi, I'm sorry. I don't speak. <laughs> Mamma mia. Can you like tie these guys up or do something does, does like that? Nobody ties up. Does that also heal me while, like, of the six points of damage I accumulate? Where's no, Sana? that's an injury, so I don't think so. All right. Well, yeah, no, it will. It will heal the injury first, oh. and then heal the strain. Thank you, Shunichi. Yes. And unfortunately, it only heals you for fifteen, but I think that's everything you needed anyway. I only took like 12, 12 points of yeah that's yeah all right i'm gonna unlock the door wait i'm okay. gonna go to the side there we go i'm gonna have i'm gonna unlock and let suru or akio take the lead once i, I will take the lead my friend where did suru go i don't know uh, I hope also here. are 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 we not Should using not our see me. Oh. are we not are we, we not using our names am i no longer fibonacci hey fibonacci do whatever you want Ah, I'm Vimanachi, uh, I love counting. Alright, let's see if I can get this lock open. Oh, and also I end my invisibility. Okay. Um... Uh, I did a request with somebody. I'm just seeing if I can get the door open first. Right, they're, they're now down there with... And, oh, actually, you have someone that can watch them. Um... Cup, a few summons actually. So yeah, uh, Sada takes you. Uh, roll a d4. Oh, all right. Actually. It takes you a number of rounds to open the door. One. It takes you six rounds to open the door, or six, uh, six seconds, seconds, seconds to open. You, it's it's a fairly simple lock, and after you, after a bit of finagling, it is you have a set. You feel a satisfying click inside uh, of the lock. I step back click. and let somebody else take the lead. All right, I 
open the door normally. Okay. The With my opens. sword out. And you two, you see two men inside. One is the elf from the for, from before, and he is holding a. Uh, yeah, he's holding a sniper rifle to, uh, uh, <laughs> out towards you. Um, Anti-material rifle. And uh, nice. yes, he fires his Gauss rifle at you, and oh. uh, the critical effect goes off, and you're knocked down. Oh. Um, but no, he is holding a hand crossbow towards you, but the crossbow bolt you see has a sort of ampule on it. Oh, fuck. Don't move. A breath of this poison will reduce your skin to sludge. Or sorry, I'm told. Clearly, you have something to say to us. So, let us... But we are not ones to negotiate. That's good, because the last person we negotiated with is dead. Mm. Yes, that is the problem that I am thinking of, says the other man, who you note is rather relaxed. He has his feet up on the table. Um, it's just sort of uh, sitting there watching the door with his hands folded on his uh, chest. Although they move, actually, at this point and pull out a holdout pistol from a hidden position. And uh, they point it at the elf. What? Uh, Senor Morosini, what are you doing? I'm, um... Wait. Doing what I need to do, I think. Stand up against the wall. What? Stand up against the wall, drop the weapon. If that was as deadly as you would think, would you use it at this close of range? You're going to get killed. I'm saving you. Really. Think about it. By threatening you with a gun. Yes, but still. The elf looks completely flabbergasted. Is his attention and focused on the men? Yes. Huh. I'm going to run at him. Oh! Just Which run at him? I'm gonna try to just kind of. Okay, I want to grapple him, so I'm gonna. Do you want to disarm him or? Disarm him, that's what I want. Which okay. one are you disarming? The one with the fucking poison, poison. that can get skin. So, right. I would, how, how would I do that? Is So, it charges a plus two on this, and then I would assume CMB. Yes. Alright. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go after the other guy then. When he's done. Okay, so. I run! Eh. This is the guy you want to think. No, wait. No. What? It's the elf. That's, oh, okay. The elf is the one. This is the one with a hand crossbow. This is the one with the pistol who is currently aiming it at the hand crossbow and is seeing his eye. And then I roll CMB. Okay, roll it. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, and is higher than his CMD, if I'm not mistaken. It is quite a bit higher, actually. Although he has a bonus against disarm, but uh, not quite high enough. And yes, with a... Um, with a uh, slap of your sword, the hand crossbow uh, sails out of his hand, uh, and all of you watch it fly over to the end of the room. No. Slam into the wall, hit the ground, and the ampule is still intact. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm not quite a fan of what you. So, what's the point of the ampule? It, so, what is the point of the ampule? It, after all that, it does not break. The elf doesn't respond. <laughs> just, he's just sort of despondent at this point. Should I grab the more seedy guy? I think he might yeah, be Yeah, but he's more seedy. I don't know that he no. is. Okay. Well, either way, let's, uh, let's just collect this, uh, talk, I suppose. Unless you don't, you think you're going to be able to so this Ooh. is an interesting group that we that has walked into my office away from my office. Uh, I'm afraid I do not know all. Of oh, I, I 
I can yeah. guess. It's him, isn't it? Poopa Morosini. Um, that's the, true. The uh, party of Ponsada Ryudo, I presume. No. Clearly not. Clearly not. Never heard of her. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, roll bluff. I will roll bluff. He smiles and closes his eyes before it continues. Of course. Negative two to this. <laughs> no, you are simply a band of adventurers who followed uh, one of my spies and killed a bunch of his guards for no reason, I presume. Right? You got it. It's unfortunate because if you were the group uh, Sada Ryudo, I would be very interested in speaking to you about interests of. Uh, or about mutual interests. Now, are you sure you're not Sada Ryudo? Well, maybe we can pass the message along. Mm, <laughs> no, I do not think that would be acceptable. <laughs> Let's go look around here. Sada, it's either I speak to you now or. Um, I do not know what you would do to me otherwise. What's the Suru say? Um, Suru, it's, uh, it's a pretty plain office room, but uh, you notice along this wall, behind uh, the wall to the right of this uh, cabinet, looks to be scuffed. As if something rubs up against it, right and left, uh, commonly. I'm just gonna run over there as quickly as I can, just to put myself between there and him. Ah, good eyes. Yes, that was the escape door. All right. Out of the spells, or the sc hat of the skies. Fine. Ah, yes. My name is Arman Morosini. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, finally. And that of your various allies. So, what has led you to me? By what fortune? Well, the fortune of having met with Kovar, him having betrayed the Morosini interests in favor of your own, no doubt because you informed him of certain information regarding certain... Slavery? Yeah. Yes. And so you have tracked down his contact, the... inestimable... Raphael here. And eventually found your way to me. Uh, not to toot my own horn, as it were, but uh, very much how it landed. Well, good job, man. Very good. You yeah. got fucking captured. Congratulations. Oh, yes. Well, it's my intent, but uh, it is also my intent that you should let me go. Not looking likely. Well. Let's wait until after we have our conversation. Okay. So. Ah, all the seagulls uh, yeah. have died. They're all listening. Yeah. The seagulls cry. All the seagulls are packed around the windows watching silent. Um, places a small sort of crystalline device on the table, and he moves a setting on it from one side to the other. It will that will silence the room. Nothing can enter or exit. No sound can enter and exit now. Yeah. Uh, he gestures to you, Paulina and Kasumi, 
to uh, come in. Can't hear anything. Can we? Can we not hear him? You can't hear him. You can see him. You can see him motioning. Though. Yeah, you okay, can see good. him motioning into the room, but. Kasumi, would you like to move in as well? Yes. While he's, like, looking at them, can I just, like, grab him and throw him on the ground? <laughs> I mean... Damn. Well, I want to make sure he doesn't have anything weird. I could <laughs> kill everyone but me in the room. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, no, by all means. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, that. All right, roll CMD. I will. As he sees you coming towards him, he go, I, I assure you, Mademoiselle, that is not necessary. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, going to do it anyway. Um, and like that, he is hurled onto the ground. Uh, nothing falls out of his pockets or anything, but um, he is, well, prone at this point. Huh. Yeah. The view down here is not incre- uh, the best. May I get back up on my seat? I'm going to uh, pat him down. Do you have anything on him? Uh, you find the pistol. You find a dagger. Uh, and another dagger. You find several daggers. He has many daggers, actually. Various stilettos and various points. Uh, I'm just going to throw it all that stuff or something. He has and a pocket did. watch. Man, I wish I had, like, daggers. Oh, wait, pocket watch? Can I see that pocket watch? It's a, yeah, it's a gold pocket watch with a M embossed on it. Oh. Oh. Uh, other than that, he has his clothing. If I'm satisfied, it is. I'll sit on one of them. Yes. Uh... Yeah. I can't blame you for being cautious. Oops, I went too far. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, I am Armand Morosini. I am a cog, as it were, in yeah. the Morosini's intelligence machine. A fairly high up one. It is how I learned of your going is how I prevented information from reaching the Grand Prince about you. You haven't been quite as perfectly stealthy as you would perhaps believe, but fortunately, you unknowingly had someone on the inside running a bit of interference. So the question, obviously, I can imagine next is why. Yeah, that's supposed to ask what's in it for you. Indeed. Perhaps you can tell from my accent, but uh, I am not from Vivet. I am from the Montfaucon's branch of the Morosini family. We run the trade post there that had been there since before they uh, rebelled from the Empire. So, as a result of that proximity, I have seen a people rise up and fight and die for their own freedom. And I have seen what the Empire does to those who have not done so yet. And I have seen letters and documents in the house of my own cousin that I returned to for work in higher station. I have seen her part in conveying more meat for the Dumadin thresher. I 
am not one to live knowing that I am a part of such a evil. Hmm. Hmm. Been doing it so far. I've been looking for an opportunity to that a senses motive, by the way. Undermine it. Mm. He seems to be very sincere, actually. All right then. You know that he's a spy. For yeah. One thing. So yeah. He How can about... mask. You would guess that he can mask himself, but you're not getting. He seems to be emphatically sincere in this. Mm. You say you've been aware of all of our movements. And that this is your moment. Not all of them. You never made any try to contact us. Yes, I have. Okay. What? Colvar. Colvar. Knowingly or? No, not entirely. I'm good at manipulating people. And in this case, I was manipulating someone through another. And well, needless to say, it worked. It doesn't really come off as genuine. You do it directly. Ah, uh, that is true. If I could move openly as, believe me, if I could have simply walked over to you in the Fatazo manner, I would have, but. Then I would be dead. And then you wouldn't have the evidence that you need to convince the other high families of Aven that my cousin is a slaver. So what do you have then? Letters. Commands. Signed by the Grand Prince. Taken from her personal desk. I've read them on a couple of occasions. Check to see if anything was added. She is very clever, but uh, I'm pretty good. You know, you have, I know, well, I presume you have records from the library since you were there. Mm. But they would be incomplete, largely circumstantial. The records that Senor Catini could have given you would be more damning, but still not quite not enough. the smoking gun that you want, yes. Boom, this is, though. From what it sounds like. Oh, yes. You take this from me. But and we end this slavery in Raven. A mutually beneficial situation. Of course, there's also the issue that the Vivanese family here, the Vivanese branch of the Morsini family has been rotted from its roots. Yeah. They should be um, pruned. Not that I'm suggesting that you make violence upon my family, but where the Grand Prince must answer for her crimes. Her husband is complicit. Yeah, but other than that, it is mostly her minions who are otherwise her accomplices. What about her brother? Uh, Valentino? No, not Valentino. Um, the interchangeable, so forgive he's me. He's in a coma Pietro. now still, right? Yes. It's very sad. Valentino's in Sarugu. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I notice you are here and he is still there. Do you have him? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. He's odious, but uh, he is family. Um, when this is all said and done, 
if you could return him to me, I'd appreciate it. All because right. that is what I would like to be my end for this deal. All right, then. I think I would be better in charge of the Morosini family. A smaller Morosini family, justly punished for our cruel indiscretions of our patriarch or our patrician. But, uh, Extent. Because I worry that in your zeal, you might attempt to wipe out my entire family, and well, I would hate to see that happen to my blood, as would the any number of Morosini branches throughout Logos. Who's having the connection issue? I don't know. Prof. It's not me. Prof, are you having a problem? Oh, uh, voice has dropped oh. for me. I can't reconnect. Oh. Oh, okay. Weird. Well, at least it's almost near the end of the night. All so right. Can you hear us? Hold on. Where do you have? Do you have the documents on you? No, I would had to get them. That would be foolish to bring them with me. But I can retrieve them easily. Then it's simply a matter of getting them to you. You're no longer at the Sensi Manch at the Sensi Palace. So where are you now? Wait, where are we now? Where are you staying now? Oh. You're not at the Sensi place anymore? We just left there for that day, so uh, excuse me, the Fatazo Palace. Where are oh. you now? Then you are at the Sensi place at the moment. Do you tell him this? Think. Think about it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like our best. We're at the senses. Hmm. And see, this is why you need me. Huh? To tell you to, when you're dealing with someone you don't know, and aren't certain of the motivations of to give them a meeting place that isn't your actual residence. Oh. Fortunately, you picked the right person to trust. I thought I was about to puff <laughs> into a cloud the, of smoke or something. The thing that you told us <laughs> just. So. From the violence I heard outside, I presume that most of the guards here are uh, no longer among the living. Well, a bunch yes. of them are unconscious, and two of them are alive. I'm going to put them in the cheese. Well, two of them are awake, I mean. The, other, the unconscious ones are still alive. You're most of them are... Most of them are motivated by... Are criminals motivated by not doing prison, not being in prison in Castel de Mafia. So really, not too much of a loss. Those you have left alive, you can leave. The two that you have captured, he says, so looking out the door at them. Uh, we can eat them. They unfortunately know what you look like. Oh, okay. Since they are looking at you now, they know who you are and that you're dealing with me, which would be an issue for us. We're not... I hate to ask you to do my dirty work, but uh, I am disarmed. I'm... The same with uh, Raphael. The elf looks a little terrified. Hmm. Or you could capture them, imprison them. I don't know where. Perhaps the Sensi Manor, since you are there. They do have cells. Hmm. Getting them there could be difficult, but uh, you have proven pretty resourceful. I'll leave that up to you. So done. In the beginning of next session. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
he says. Now it is now it is up to you to decide are you Sonic the Hedgehog or Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> Either way, in the end, you're still a hedgehog. Ah. Of course. <laughs> that famous line. Ah, profanity, you're back. Well, I heard like something at the end of that. Oh yeah, you are kind of robot-y. Oh, Jake's back too. Hey, hey, hey I, I, I shoot, I slant. I slant. <laughs> oh no, you kill, you kill the no! guy, you kill the Horatini <laughs> guy who was helping us. Okay, no, no, because of me. Um, what cardinal direction do you fire the ice lance? No, no, this is a perfect no. time because okay. I was thinking about how if Jake were here, he would probably just try to summarily execute that prisoner. But I wasn't I willing to miss say that because everybody would be like, meh, meh, meh. No, that's Jamie. Jamie, here's how I. Here's my advice to you. You should kill the prisoner. What's what did the prisoner do? What is his crime? He saw he too just, much. He knows too much. He knows too much. About you or about somebody else? <laughs> about um, us. About the whole he, adventuring party. About he literally. He literally. He, he was also. Everything. He was also a bad dude. He okay, was a bad so dude. He knows too much. All right. Cool. Aces. Okay, Kasumi walks up to the prisoner, puts her hand on his forehead, oh. and then I slant. I slant. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Kasumi, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, fruit, if you'd be so kind. Oh. 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 Amy also says I slant. I rolled sixty damage. Oh. All right, I'm going to yeah. count that as a crit because you know. Hands on his coup de gras. Well, he's helpless, so it's a coup de gras. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that's 120 damage oh. through his forehead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that's exactly that that says, Jesus Christ. Wait, who's ah. Jesus Christ? <laughs> he's still standing because the Iceland sort of props him up. Jesus. Ah, sick. <laughs> he's um, pinned to the wall. Yeah, he's more pinned to the floor. By the champion. Oh, fuck. Uh, Armand Morosini looks at this and goes, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, 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 There's other two other prisoners. There are two other prisoners. All right, Kasumi. here we go. What the? F um. Okay, no, 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 no. That's that's not how I do this. Not that's not the Kasumi way. Uh, I like the two other prisoners, and I ask them, "Hey, are you going to rat us out or otherwise screw us over?" <laughs> Armand turns off the thing that was silencing everyone in the room, which includes Kasumi, and Kasumi is able to repeat herself to the two con formerly confused, now terrified prisoners, and they just stare at you, Kasumi, and just shake their heads left and right. Can I get a sense of motive uh, from the from the audience, please? I, I, I make sure to like start shaking the body to emphasize that this is a good idea, that they should not fuck up. He's like a dead. marionette, like a puppet. Like this. Oh yeah, no. no! Ah! My blood so ice, there's so much blood! Oh god, why'd you do this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, they say no. Okay, sense motive, anyone? I'm on my phone. Her health sense I mean, motive. I can click your sense motive button, but it's a three, so. Oh, um, we rolled a 20. Uh, Sada, you feel that they, at least for now, <laughs> don't are, want to die. <laughs> they do not want to die. All right. <laughs> and we'll say yes to whatever Kasumi asks them. Great. You're going to be our prisoners now, anyways. They nod. <laughs> All right. That Armand. Was, uh, me. Thanks, guy. Okay, <laughs> and with that, we'll end the session there. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh I certainly God. did. Yeah. Right. Um, the team managed to take down some spies, despite uh, half of them being we got the double agents drunk on now. wine and full of jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Congratulations, team. We got the double agent spy, but will he be a triple agent? No. I'd like oh, okay. to congratulate myself for my contributions to the team, to the party. Uh, I worked really hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you used I, Iceland's. Uh, I'd like to write up some contracts and sell tennis balls. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're remaking Kasumi into a tennis ball merchant. 
We're inventing tennis. Yep. Oh, you told uh, Jake about that? Of course I did. Um, also, uh, Suru, at uh, some point or another, Shunichi walks over and heals the... Uh, he heal by 19. Sweet. And your fatigue is removed. Sweet. Uh, and my injury. Yes. Sweet. 